All right, so I'm so excited to share this with you because I am teaching at Art Venture by Prima, and I've never taught there before. It's my first time, and it's an entirely online virtual event. So you have no reason not to come and join me over there, as well as uh, Finna Bear is teaching, and Katarina and uh, Sharon. So there's a lot of other teachers teaching at Art Venture. It's a really fun way to commune and get back into the creative swing of things. And I've got a lot to show you. So um, keep watching because I've got a full uh, video introducing all the stuff that's happening to over the there. Prima Art Venture website. I'm excited because I have never personally taught at an art venture and I know so many of you have gone. And if you've never gone, uh, you can join me as the first time too because uh, this is a virtual online art event. And for those of you that uh, haven't really made it out yet and you're not really going in person, this is perfect because it's a great way to get your art on to see the artists that you love and to get your hands dirty knee deep into product. So I am teaching personally two classes with Art Venture, and I just kind of want to show you uh, there's a couple things on the website that you might want to take note of. So the first thing is you can register for my classes or Anna's classes or Sharon's classes or Katarina's classes with a kit included or without a kit included. And how do you decide? Well, I'm going to take you down there to that too. So I'm just scrolling down. So these are my two classes here, the Rebel Watercolorist and Mixed Media, building it up to break it down. And you can see the class date here is May 14th for the Rebel Watercolorist at 1.30. Um, this is Pacific time. So this is on the West Coast. And then the second class is the following Saturday at the same time, again, on Pacific. Pacific Standard Time. So the Rebel Watercolorist. I'm working with Prima, so it would make total sense that I'm using those delicious watercolors that they provided me. And this is actually, and I know a lot of you have uh, bought it since I started using it, the complexion set of watercolors that Prima has. And we're going to throw every one of the rules out of the window and do watercolor the way it probably should have organically, creatively, artistically been meant. Okay, the way I do it. Um, and the cool thing is you don't need to draw because I've got a cheat sheet it's already printed on the watercolor paper that'll be provided in the kit. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to get these nice drippy, kind of loose uh, aesthetics to it. All right, and then there's these things here. So uh, I believe, let me see, uh, class supply list. Let me click on that. You can see Prima will supply in the kit watercolor paper, oil pastels, the rustic set, the watercolor confection, um, palette, which is called complexion, additional supplies that are included in the kit is, um, I'm using my mega color water or mega color colored pencils. I've got black, chestnut brown, English red, permanent white. Again, to add some really cool details, it's, we're calling it the Rebel Waller colorist, but certainly having some mixed media in there makes it a little bit more enjoyable. So I am putting those mixed media elements in there. All right, and then there's some additional supplies. What does that mean? That means these are the supplies that if you don't get the kit, or if you do get the kit, you still have to provide. So these are not included. These are something you have to do. So um, a watercolor brush. Now you can decide, you know, what's your favorite watercolor brush. It doesn't have to be a quill. I just feel like that picks up a lot of water and lays down a lot of water in a different way. Um, a palette, either a paper palette or a glass palette or a stay wet palette, whatever floats your boat. Um, a container for water to clean your brushes and some paper paper towels and obviously you can print it out here. All right. Um, and then you're going to see here's the class pricing, individual classes. There's bonuses for buying more than one, a kit option, no kit option. That kind of kind of goes through all that for you. Um, and then this one is to purchase the class with the kit and to purchase the class without the kit. Kind of straightforward, right? All right, so let's go to the next one because the next weekend, this is more of a colorful, uh, abstracted, mixed media, just gooey goodness. That's all I'm going to call it. So if you've taken my classes before, you know that I'm so inspired by color and I'm using the Prima like 
the concentrated inks for this one. So it's not a watercolor palette. It's the concentrated watercolors with the dropper. And I'm making this incredible, noisy and loud and succulent background. And then I'm editing back and I'm using some stamps and I'm using line and I'm doing negative painting. And it's just a really fun way, adding some washi tapes, adding pattern, extracting and those of you that are going to empathize with the idea of being a background maker and not knowing what to do with that background, this is actually that answer. So even though I'm calling it mixed media, building it up to break it down, it's really about editing. That's really what it's about. What do you keep? I love it all. I don't know what to keep. I don't know how to fix it. That's the answer to this. So um, this one, okay, let's go up to supplies list. Let's talk about that. All right. So Prima will supply watercolor paper, the concentrated watercolors I was talking about in squash, candy, sea green, and azure. And then additional supplies that are not Prima related, but you're getting in the kit are the mega color pencils. Cause you know, I just love those. And you can see that there is the cadmium citron moss, like moss green light, the old rose light, orange leaf green, and you are getting a, an art foaming stamp. Yay. Included in the kit. But whether you get the kit or not, you still have to supply these. Um, I'm asking you to bring some stamps. Listen, I could have included all the stamps I have in the uh, my room here, but I just grabbed some stuff. Um, grab whatever you have. You don't need anything specific. But I know a lot of people love the Tim Holtz stamps. That's what you see in like the figures and the numbers. It's kind of like a science field notesy thing. Um, I did use my poppy stamp, but any flower stamp will work for this. I just use the poppy. Um, watercolor brush, again, if you're taking both classes, that's a no brainer, right? Because you can just use both. Uh, flat paint, I'm sorry, flat brush, a one inch or a half inch, kind of like a big surface area. Don't use a tiny coupled bristled haired brush. That's not fun. Um, and then white acrylic paint, washi tapes. Again, I know you're hoarding that, so you'll have it. A palette, a brush a container for brushes and or to clean brushes and paper towels and stuff like that. All right. That is pretty much it. I mean, again, you'll see this is to purchase the class entry, the ticket with a kit or with not a kit. But I really hope that you join me here. It's so much more affordable um, than anything I do on a regular basis. So it kind of be silly not to jump in here and grab the kit because there's a lot of good stuff in there. And if you have questions, certainly let me know. Or if I don't know the answer, I can ask the art venture and have them help you out. Uh, so thanks. Thanks for uh, sitting there here going through it with me. And just thanks for watching. Follow me on Patreon, subscribe now and start learning.